My name is Taiwo Bankole from Forest Center of High TA. So, the reason why we are here today is to educate farmer, vegetable farmer, how to grow vegetable um, of different variety. I'm telling them different habitats that different vegetable like. Not every vegetable that grow in, in all the habitat. Some vegetable like shaded area, some like sunny area. And we educate them about the uh, different variety. They need uh, a kind of conditioned soil, soil with the organic matter. But when they have organic matter in their own soil, the soil can control erosion. The soil can retain water perfectly. And another thing that we taught them is that different soil method of propagating the uh, vegetable, like uh, some some when we are using seeds now, we call it broadcasting method. Then drilling method. After making the bed, we drill the bed and put it I mean, on the bed. Then we can also broadcast the seed on the germination bed. Then, but when we are propagating stem cuttings, we don't do broadcasting. We call it direct sowing. We, we, we put the seed, I mean, the stem cuttings. On the on the bed directly. Soil sterilization. This is done to kill any harmful microorganisms. These are the steps to follow to make a soil bed. Decide the dimensions of the bed. Removal of debris and stones. Tillage. Raking and leveling. Peg it out one meter by two meter. Application of treatment. Treatment can vary based on preference. After treatment, you should cover the soil bed immediately. Planting occurs 24 hours after treatment. Example, if I treat my soil bed at exactly 8 or a.m., I'm expected to plant by the same time the next day. Planting process. Certain plants have seed dormancy, a state in which plants such as shiokor would not germinate when propagated due to unfavorable environmental conditions. To break this barrier, seeds to be planted have to undergo extreme conditions, one of which is immersion of seed in hot boiling water, 100 C or extremely cold water, and 15 C, for varying hours followed by seven days of refrigeration after which planting occurs. Planting has three methods, Drilling, broadcasting, and direct sowing. Selecting seeds can be strenuous as some types can be very tiny. So to select them, a process called concocted flotation is used. In this process, the seeds are immersed into a bowl or a bucket of water. Seeds floating upwards are considered as the bad ones, while the seeds floating downwards are the good seeds and can be planted. Weeds can absorb soil nutrients more rapidly than plants resulting in competition between the plants and the weeds. To curb this, avoid poor crop yield and protect the environment from herbicide pollution. Certain agronomic practices are carried out. Hand weeding, hand pulling, hoeing, and mulching bi-weekly. Mulching. To control weeds, retain soil bed water, reduce evaporation, and add nutrients to the soil. Mulching material decays and becomes humus organic matter, which retains water content in the soil bed. Selecting the right seed varieties through extraction and seed cleaning. Removal of inert materials and perforated damaged seeds that may have insects such as weevils, beetles, affecting the yield of the others over time. I soil conditioning by using compost or manure. Soil changing. If you notice the soil getting weak, you can change it. Medicinal plants and vegetables with their benefits. King of bitters. Helps treat malaria and reduce menstrual cramps and high blood pressure. 
It can also be used during states of fatigue or tiredness. Jute malo is good for ulcers and pregnant women. Yanrin. This is good for the eyes and for treating diabetics. It will be juiced and oil added to it. Ugbono is good for infertility, but drinking water soaked for five days with its roots. Justicio Circulum. This is a blood booster and purifier. It also prevents high blood pressure. Unripe pawpaw. If soaked in water for four days can be used to treat chronic ulcers. Diagnosed patients should drink a glass of this water for 21 days. Jatropha. Can be used to treat toothache, spinal cord pains, and back pains. Sorosop. Used to treat insomnia by boiling its leaves and drinking it. It's also used to treat fibroid and bacterial infections. All these things, not that they are not outside you, you can only get them in the natural forest, not plant, even not plantation, in the natural forest that are there. You know, they are Helen species, very long time species. Maybe like 50 years ago now, they have been existing. So, this thing, I'm, I'm healthy, very healthy. So, you can even, cons you are doing conservation, you can conserve your home, try to, you can get the white list. My name is Joshua Babatunde. I work in under forest uh, unit. I'm in charge of medicinal plants. So what you have learned today, and part of the training as well, it's really encouraging because people that came here, they knew me more than before. And just to let them know that all the plants we have here, they are important. They are very, very important and also to treat uh, for preventive and also to cure. So, and also that some of the things that we have shown them now, they really embrace it. They want to practice their own. In case maybe another training, they would like to know more. They would like to, they are very happy, very excited, very educative as well. So we would like to welcome them anytime. Okay. My name is Ajibola Nazifa Tolanyika. I'm a farmer, vegetable okay. farmer. Okay. My name is Macy. Yeah. So, the, the major thing I learned today, though I'm a vegetable farmer, so I do cultivate tomato, cucumber, pepper. But what I saw today is quite different from what I've been doing. I learned about some herbs today, like uh, moringa, uh, spinach, and the likes. So we don't need to be going to hospitals. I saw most of the high TA people, staff today, and they are healthy, they are looking fine. Unlike people outside, you see us, like you just look at me now, I'm big. I don't know about the halves, but what I see today, I'm so amazed and I'm so happy. So thanks to high TA, thanks to the organizer, we are very happy. So I'll go out there to tell people about their programs and their Stop. My name is Amale Okoyami Sande. Um, I heard about this, you know, farmers outreach online, which I apply. And though my intention was, you know, all this fruit, vegetable, but when I entered this place, I saw different things. Earth wisely. In fact, I've learned a lot of things from this place. So some of the things we can use. Because if you are not healthy, there is no way you can, you know, farm. There is no way you can feed the nation. So I saw some of the plants that I've never seen before. I saw some of the way that, you know, you can treat some of uh, your crop on the farm. So it has been very, very impactful. So there are some crops or leaves, I mean plants that were introduced to us. So which, by the grace of God, maybe I will try to get some of it. Then I'll go and multiply it. Then I also I will teach some people around me so that they can benefit from it. Thank you very much. My name is Omolola Dari, and this has been an amazing 
um, outing for me, an amazing training for me, organized by Radio IITA. I've really um, looked forward to learning a lot about vegetables. I'm a young farmer, and one of the things I learned today is we actually have vegetables that are medicinal, and we have some others that are, you know, for food items. One of the insightful things I learned is about the medicinal plant, and I look forward to actually learning more and making use of it. This training has really impacted me. I know that you don't have to actually go to school to learn about all of these plants. ITA has that provision. You can come in here and learn, and this training has really helped me to achieve that in learning about common vegetables I have around me that I don't even know are medicinal. So with this, I can learn and also improve my health, and I'm really thankful for this opportunity. Be a